So anyway, here's the two email addresses, emails that we just sent. So I'm going to click delete, delete. We're going to start again. Click create. Vids. Hey, and then put time. So no. Click send. It's sent. No problem. Click send receive. Send receive again. Okay, now we're getting, now we got it. So that's pretty much it. That's how you configure it. That's how you configure uh, your POP email address in Alec Express. Okay, so now we're gonna go for uh, IMAP. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get out of here, click accounts and then click remove. And then we're gonna add another one. This is, now we're gonna do IMAP format. And uh, let's go, this, uh, Okay, incoming. For me, it's the same, and for you, it might be imap.whatever.com, uh, but with this, it's the same deal. Now we have to change this to imap. Down here, we're gonna use the same, still gonna use Gmail as the outgoing mail server. Oops, that's not what you wanna do. Okay, vid account name to retrieve, to retrieve the email. Is that? Okay, finish, double click on that, and then I'm gonna change this. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. Click on service tab, mail, SMTP, vids, fine, fine. Authentication here, settings, log on using, and we're gonna go to vids, I am, no, 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 Gmail. Okay. All right, that should be good. Authentication, IMAP. Okay. I wonder if it'll work for IMAP and Gmail. That's POP. settings for Gmail forwarding IMAP configure instructions Alec Express okay let's go down to okay outgoings 465 SSL so I go back to here advanced outgoing 465 not gonna touch that because that deals with my uh, my domain Let's go back here, make sure everything else is good. Authentication. Okay, as you can see, Gmail uses imap.gmail.com for the incoming, but we're not using that. See where it says imap.gmail.com? I don't need that because I'm using Gmail, but if you were using Gmail, that's the setting you'd have for incoming. All right, and then you'd also have to change this to 993 for uh, incoming as well, and both are checked for SSL. Okay, we're gonna go back over here and we're gonna see what happens. Click close, would you like to download the folders? Yes, and right now it's downloading everything. Pretty much done, click okay. And actually it appears down here. It won't appear in the local folders. This is the POP. Down here, we're gonna click on inbox. And we see here that we've already, uh, we've already read these. They'd be bold if they were new, but we've already read these. So uh, we're gonna send another email and we'll see what happens. So, viz uh, cc testing seven thank I sync all click send and it's sent no problem. Now we're gonna click send receive and 
friends. Quick send receive again. And there we go. Now, if it's on the bottom, you just click over here, click on received, and then it'll just show up the newest is on top. Okay? So this is it. Uh, and you want to make sure that uh, with your email, you want to make sure that, uh, let's see, layout, where we edit. Okay, it's not going to do it. How about up here? Okay, probably won't do it with uh, view layout. You want to make sure the preview pane is not selected because if the preview pane is selected and you have like, I'll show you what it looks like. Here's a preview pane right down here. If you click on the email and then it automatically it previews it down here. And you don't want to do that because let's say, see how it previews it down here? You don't want to do that because let's say it's a virus. Uh, some viruses launch when you open the email. So it'll, so when you click on the email, even though you're not opening it, it's still previewing it and it might launch the virus. So it's best not to, I highly suggest uh, not to do the previewing. Okay, so uh, just go to view, then go to layout, then uncheck the preview pane and click OK. All right, and again, the, the IMAP email is going to appear down here and uh, double click on it. You can read it. I didn't put anything in there, that's why it's blank. And now it's not bold anymore. Okay, so uh, that is uh, pretty much pretty much it. And that is how you configure uh, your Gmail. Okay. And that's how you configure your email in Outlook Express. And remember, if you like the video, go ahead and click on subscribe to support the site. And also, don't forget to rate the video. Even if it's a three or four, it still helps.